Hi friends, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Um, so yes, you are staring at a very fancy antique bassinet. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, this is what I want to show off. Um, I got this, I believe it was on a Friday, uh, but I've been so busy and as many of you know, um, I had a new baby come, uh, which is little, um, Kayushi or Yushi for short. He's just here in the car seat. Um, in his pajamas for now but i figured you all might want to see him and say hello um it is a bad day for this <laughs> um with the the lighting um it's it's raining and you know we're get we have like you know uh, not the hurricane but you know it's we're getting rain and and wind and and that sort of stuff from the hurricane down south um we're in new york so uh you know it, it's not it's not wonderful lighting but i have to make videos when i can <laughs> so um right now you can just see the fancy cover that is on this bassinet which i'm gonna pull off and show you how amazingly cool this is now i have done nothing this cover if i'm even going to use the cover um it's a bit fancy um it, it's gorgeous but it's a bit fancy uh for me uh if i'm going to use this cover or what i'm gonna do but you'll you'll see when i pull it off what i'm talking about so it has not been washed. Um, nothing's been done. Uh, I got this at my local thrift shop, and let me let me pull the cover off as we as we talk. And um, I know the people up there for years. And hang on, the wheel is on this. Okay. Let me pull this out of the way. Now, there was a plastic piece over this. I wouldn't have been keeping anyway. Uh, Gabriel started pulling it off, but this is just the thing. Obviously, I'm probably going to get a new cushion for this. Um, I plan on kind of refurbishing this entire thing, but let me back up so you all can see. This bassinet is that we know of. It's 72 years old. So the woman in the thrift shop, um, it's a thrift shop run by IGHL uh so I think like the money that they make from there goes like towards that um I think I'm not really sure don't don't quote me on that but anyway the woman that's been working there for years um that I know really well this was hers well it was her grandmother's when she was a baby uh so her grandmother slept in it as a baby um, oh no, I'm sorry, her great grandmother, her great grandmother, this was in the 1940s. Um, her great grandmother slept in it, her grandmother slept in it, she slept in it, many cousins have slept in it, lots and lots of babies through the years have slept in it. Um, she dated it back 72 years that she knows of, and she's not really sure where it came from before that, so it is possible that it is older um excuse the fruit flies ladies we are in my living room <laughs> where my sugar gliders are bred and we are at the end of the season where they're all kind of dying off and so if you see a few of them they are not flies and well they are flies they are fruit flies but there's not like gross flies in my house i hate having to say that over and over again but we're nearing the end of the season here and the, and they kind of go around to die i don't know anyway back to the bassinet so it has been refurbished at least once um including that cover um ma uh, many years ago i for i'm so bad at remembering stuff i can go up anytime it's right down the block and ask her more questions <laughs> um as to what year it was um redone at a carpet place where they had that um new uh cover made and all that um, I am not, I don't want to change anything or much on this, um, because it is an antique piece or vintage. I don't know what classifies as an antique or what's vintage. I am not, maybe some of y'all ladies that do antiques 
could help me on that. Um, I So I don't know if it's actually considered an antique or if it's just vintage or old or what the story is. But 72 years old, it's in excellent, excellent condition. Um, you know, obviously down, down here on the legs of it, I, I'm going to want to, you know, just repaint, you know, scrape that off and repaint. Um, you know, but it's, it's a big, um, <clears throat> basket to those of you ladies that need some describing. Um, it's on wheels. Um, so it comes up to about almost my hip on the wheels but the wheels just fold down so it can just be set on the floor um the basket has two big handles um it's white uh it's very pretty looking um so i was thinking you know just all you know freshly painted up that i might um i do have um one of the old uh, John Lennon um, bassinet sheets from my daughter. Um, some of you, to those of you that have been with me, um, you know that I collect some of the John Lennon pieces. Um, that that was my uh, second daughter's nursery theme um, that then uh, my third daughter and then my son used was all the John Lennon stuff. It wasn't out when my first daughter was born. She had something different. But I had the entire John Lennon nursery. I was only left with, I think, a brush and just a couple little pieces um, because I donated everything after Gabriel outgrew. Um, so I had to buy what I wanted <laughs> on eBay. I was like buying back what I had. But anyways, um, I did, um, I, I didn't get everything obviously, but you know, I have a few pieces. And the bassinet sheet was one of the few things that I think it was like in the, in, um, Gabriel's closet, uh, that, you know, I missed that it was still like in the back of his closet. <clears throat> so I don't know. I was thinking something like that. Um, obviously I'm going to buy a new, new pad for it. Um, I just, ladies, that's my, one of my questions can I just throw this out because I'm not going to use it? Does it, do I need to like put it in plastic and store it? Does it matter because it's the, or maybe the original that it came with the piece? That's something that I want to hold on to. I don't know. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not planning to keep this to, to, to sell or anything. You know, it's just, I thought it was beautiful and um, it's, it's really roomy inside so that I could display several babies in here um, and it'll give me some space and it can collapse and be on the floor so it's not so obtrusive if I would like it that way. So um, it was just um, for me, I thought a good idea, space saver kind of idea for my babies in my situation because you know I don't have a whole heck of a lot of room I'm not even sure where I'm going to place this um but I'm gonna definitely figure something out and keep it um so I thought it was really really cool and um yeah I'm gonna definitely wash the cover um, it's really beautiful. I, I shouldn't say it's too fancy for me, but I have really bad allergies and so does everyone in my home. Um, so the less type of curtainy, drapery type things, extra pillows, stuffed animals, throw blankets, like all that kind of stuff, the better off for us. So something like that that's going to sit and display babies in it unless I'm shaking it out every day or every two days like taking the babies out and taking that out um, because it's all it, oh it, it goes down to the floor and it's just all like long and lacy it has a layer underneath it's almost like a christening gown all around you know I mean it's gorgeous. And, uh, you know, obviously I'm going to wash it and maybe I'll put it on to, to take some lovely pictures and whatever. But as far as for long term for me having that out to store the babies in, um, I think just and I, and I like the look of the basket. Um, so I think that that's just a cleaner look for me and <laughs> for my allergies. 
so um the the obviously the lace that whole piece whatever you call it i'm sure there's a word for it obviously i will be keeping that i will store that you know um it, you know to go with the the basket uh so anyway yeah, i thought it was interesting let me let me get in on it a little bit so y'all can you know get a look to those of you uh ladies that are antique enthusiasts but 72 years old i thought that it was again it's the condition of it is i mean aside from just a little bit of cha paint chipping on on the the bottom you know legs and wheels and stuff the basket itself almost doesn't need to be painted although i will just spruce it up for you know allergy sake and whatever and uh, like i said replace this pad that you know goes in there um so yeah I, I thought that was really neat. It's got a lot of history behind it. I know the woman pretty well that, you know, uh, that it was in her family. She was, um, there was some, a bunch of old Cabbage Patch dolls um, in it in the thrift shop for sale. And I think she was kind of thinking, ah, it'll just sit in here and, you know, display whatever dolls they had for sale in the thrift shop. But her family was done using it um none of her family members wanted to use it to put a baby in it in many many years i'm guessing me perhaps for safety issues that that would be the you know reason why most people wouldn't want to you know as an heirloom have their baby sleep in it although many people do have their children sleep in old bassinets cradles and cribs that their great great grand grandparents slept in but um you know her her family definitely no one had been using it in years and it was just up in her you know attic storage and she was cleaning out and felt it was time to let it go so she was so beyond thrilled she collects dolls herself not reborn dolls but a bunch of other different kinds of dolls she went in her car she got out a doll she had in there um so when she heard that you know i said you know i'm not looking for this for a baby i i want it to display my dolls in and you know of course she knows me she was so thrilled that this piece found a home and that it was gonna you know display you know my collectible dolls i showed her my instagram account she was very interested in seeing the reborn babies in fact, that may be a little local trip that I might take a baby out to because I know she would love to see one. And um, the, uh, the people there, because actually in the store in the back, a bus comes in the morning and the clients of IGHL, like they're more high functioning ones. It's a little group um, and it's been the same group for years. They spend several hours during the day in there they have a tv and they they have lunch back there and you know they bring them out and they have them like count change for people and you know certain customers and hold the door and you know stuff like that so i think that that group would also really enjoy um seeing a reborn baby and holding a reborn baby so that may be a trip that i'll go up maybe after i um you know clean up this bassinet uh, i take pictures i can bring her up pictures of some dolls in it and and bring a baby to show her so i thought that that was a fun thing um obviously it's i got it friday and it took me till tuesday just to make a video to show it to you all so <laughs> i don't have a lot of time on my hands ladies so uh I, this is like a winter project for me because even though, yeah, it's just a little touch up here and there, you'd be surprised how long a little something something takes. Um, so, you know, I, whenever I, I get to it, but for now, you know, I wasn't going to pass this up being in this hobby and having these dolls and having the opportunity. And I absolutely love things with history. This has 72 years that we know of, of history of someone that I know that their family members as babies slept in. Her great grandmother was from Germany. Um, Helena Johan, 
Johanna, I think was her name. Uh, she was German. Her other grandmother's name was Tatiana. I did get that. Um, and I can always go and get more information if I have any questions, if you all have any questions. Um, just something cool, something fun um, that I wanted to share with you all. And is this not just beautiful? I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. You know, I, I love unique things, you know, things with history, things of sentimental value. And, you know, it, I, I don't know. It was definitely right up my alley. So I thought y'all would think this was cool. So I'm going to let you take another um, peek at, uh, I'm sorry, my shadow is in the way here. And excuse, I have not even vacuumed the floor. I mean, it's a wood floor, but I go over it with the vacuum every day. I've done nothing. I just, I wanted to get the video done. And so please excuse what it looks like in here. But say hello, Yoshi. Yeah, and it is Yoshi is his nickname. His name is Kaiyushi. I kept calling him Yoshi in my last video. That was my mistake. It is Yoshi, <laughs> not Yoshi. It is Yoshi, Kaiyushi, and I am so in love with this baby. Um, it, it, I, I, <sighs> there, there's a certain something kind of magic in this baby that has me just i mean the first night that he was home i just sat on the couch with him like laying in front of me on the couch for just hours just staring at him i i find his this baby so amazingly realistic to look at to hold um i love his happy face his expression like it's just filling my heart with with happiness um he, he's just such a sweetie I, I am I adore this little boy I absolutely adore this little boy um his hair is so soft he's just there is nothing that I would change about this baby and you know I've just been you know, I was similar to when AZ came home. Like, I was bringing him in every room with me. I had the little seat set up in the on the kitchen table. When I was in there, I would carry him in. I just wanted to look at him and hold him. Um, and this baby, I am, you know, kind of just toting around the house with me, whichever room I'm cleaning in. And, yeah, he's just... He jumped in nails. He's been in these pajamas for like two days now. Because like time is, you know, <laughs> I haven't had time to change him. And I want to take pictures and change him. And I want to get pictures of him and, and Shay. Those two smiles together. Because she's another one that's, oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. Um, you know. So, anyways. Um... You know, I have all these, you know, I, I said it last time. I just feel very blessed. I have all these, you know, beautiful babies to enjoy over the winter. I have to, you know, stop adopting babies, you know, for quite some time. And, you know, but I feel like I, I just now can, you know, enjoy coming into the holidays, starting with Halloween and then Thanksgiving and Christmas and just fun stuff. And I'm always busy with the kids that time of the year. And then, of course, inside more for the winter to enjoy the babies and enjoy. So um, I'm just, you know, I'm looking forward to all that. Um, um, I've been definitely busy now this time just with the house and the yard and stuff gearing up for winter and doing that spring cleaning reverse spring cleaning I should say when you're kind of getting ready for the winter and the holidays to be upon you so that's what I've been up to um <laughs> you know certainly enjoying this one um quickly I'd like to thank you all um who went over to Nana and Papa's GoFundMe um page to all of you that were able to donate um leave kind words to all of you praying for them and to all of you that are spreading the word so that the more people in the community that are a aware and have the link can help um you know and you know it, it's it's something where many people 
just a little something can just make such a huge difference and it is and uh you know and many people have been very very generous and i hope that everybody continues to um if you're if you don't know what i'm talking about if you go to my previous video you can hear all about that and subsequently it may be in you know at the end of the week or something i'll make another video with more of the information so that if people missed the last one they they can hear it again i will again link the gofundme down in this video um and you know nana and papa you know still need our help it's it's gonna be long-term care that papa needs with the dementia uh nana is his only caretaker and um they uh you know are just beloved members of this community you know for years and have been very very kind to all of us here and uh you know so they're they're very very special you know people here in the community we're all special and it's important to you know be a community uh nana and papa have been here a very very long time and have you know really you know um spent many years giving and, and spreading joy and kindness and all sorts of stuff so anyways um so i don't make this forever and ever and ever because <laughs> you're only just looking at the baby not that we couldn't look at him all day um i hope you enjoyed seeing the i i'm calling it an antique bassinet i don't know if that's correct or not my my 72 or two year old bassinet um i thought it was neat and uh yeah any questions on that or anything you want to tell me because obviously i i don't know that much about antiques or old stuff you know i'm i'm not you know it's not my area um i just i think it's super cool and that's what i plan to do with it all right, everyone, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video or any of my others, please make sure you're subscribed. Um, share with your friends. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you receive invites to my lives. And so you never miss a video. And until next time, God bless.